Hey guys, this is Ferocious Llama here with MTG Confidant. Today I'm going to play some Monastery Mentor in Vintage. Um, this is just kind of a deck I whipped together. Uh, basically we got our uh, three Monastery Mentors, two Stoneforge Mystics, a Jite to go get the uh, with the Monastery Mentor. Uh, one Swords Plowshares for, you know, any uh, creature removal. Um, generally I find myself sideboarding this out, but this is great when they go, you know, some nonsense like... Uh, you know, uh, tinker out of blight steel. Bam! Swords plowshares, good game. Because um, usually they won't tinker out of blight steel unless they don't have a whole lot going on. Unless it's super early. Um, but then, you know, hopefully we can counter it or whatever. But um, uh, then we got three taxium probes, uh, four mental missteps, an ancestral. You know, a lot of the typical blue deck stuff um, that I'm sure you guys see in every deck. You know, brainstorm, uh, fluster storm. You know, a lot of the restricted stuff. I know fluster storms aren't restricted. And then I got two mystic remoras. Mystic remora. Uh, one blue mana, whenever an opponent plays a non-creature spell, I can draw a card unless they play four, and they never pay four. Um, because, like, think about it, even an Ancestral Recall, you're paying five to keep me from drawing one. Uh, that's not a good deal. Um, they, they have, they have that in standard. It's called Jace's Ingenuity. Um, and if it's in standard, it's a good rule of thumb that it's probably not good enough for Vintage. Um, unless everybody's playing it in, you know, all the other formats. Like Treasure Cruise, for example. That is good enough to get uh, restricted, so uh, it is good enough for Vintage. But uh, look at this. One mana draw three cards, essentially. Uh, but anyway, what this really does is it gives us time to go like Stoneforge Mystic, um, drop a GTA, and then start attacking, or a Monastery Mentor and start attacking, and then it really puts a clock on our opponent. And we can still play spells, but it does have cumulative upkeep, which is a little bit of a, a thing, but it keeps uh, our opponent a lot of the time from going off. Uh, and the only thing, one thing that I found is, uh, I, I have a stacks deck also that I play. I, I don't know if I've done any videos on it recently, but I have a vintage stacks deck, or workshop deck, and what I learned about Mystic Remora is, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mystic Remora does not matter against a stacks deck. So if I, whenever I'm playing stacks, I just play stuff, because it's always lock pieces, you know, that's, that's kind of the trick. Uh, but it seems like on Magic Online, a lot of the players don't know that, so lucky me. Uh, we got a Ponder, you know, Time Walk, you know, all the good restricted stuff. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor, because he's awesome. Um, you know, Jace is one of those things that, you know, if you're in like a stalemate and everybody's at both players are out of cards in your top deck and you draw Jace, you win the game a lot of the time. So that's sweet. Four Forces, a Consecrated sweet Sphinx. Um, I don't know if you ever guys guys have ever played this in Vintage and gotten one in play. It is ridiculous. Um, just completely ridiculous. Um, yeah, insane. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, the Treasure Cruise. And then over here, we have our... Uh, this should be over here. Uh, this is kind of our... That should too. This is our Discard Suite. Uh, we got three Thoughtseize, three Cabal Therapy. Uh, the only reason I only did I did three and three was I was thinking, you know, maybe two Cabal Therapy or uh, two Thoughtseize. The only thing with Cabal Therapy is if you don't have a Probe or a Thoughtseize, it's not that great on the first shot. Um, but on the second shot, it's awesome. So it's kind of one of those things where... You gotta have a balance. Um, then we got, you know, our tutors, Yogwill, uh, Notion Thief, because this is another super sweet card. Like when they get like a Jace out or, or Brainstorm or something and you go response Notion Thief, like they kinda have to concede. Um it's it's the it, it, there's not a lot of feelings more satisfying. I mean, this is even more satisfying than those, you know, turn one uh, storm winds or a turn one um, you know, Vault Key or turn one Dark Steel Colossus or anything. Uh Notion Thief in response to Jace or Rainstorm activation is the most satisfying feeling in Vintage Magic. Um, although, Consecrated Sphinx is awesome too. So, hopefully, I don't know what we're going to play, who we're going to play against right now, but maybe we'll get that. And we got a couple Cavern Souls to keep our Monastery Mentors from getting countered. Uh, it's really the Mentors, uh, the Stoneforge Mystic. Um, honestly, I, I've, everybody says, you, you know, Stoneforge is good enough for Vintage. I am not 100% convinced of this at this point. And yeah, I probably should run a batter school. I, I didn't think there was room. And there are a lot of, you know, other mentor decks and pyromancer decks and Delver decks. And that's why I wanted GTA because uh, it'll kill all that stuff. So and then we got our four flooded strands. Um, three basic lands, two islands and a plains. Four polluted deltas, two tundras, two underground seas. And then a whole mess of uh, artifact mana. Um... It's actually just the on-color moxes and a mana crypt. Uh, the reason there's a mana crypt is because it triggers Monastery Mentor. Uh, and then over here, because we're running a, in the sideboard, because we're running a white deck, 
Um, there's actually some really cool options. Instead of, you know, um, you know, uh, Graph Digger's Cage as our only option or, you know, uh, what is Leyline of the Void? We got Rest in Peace, which is sweet. It's two mana, um, removes everything, doesn't let anything else put in. I mean, it completely turns off our opponent's Yogwell. The only thing is, remember to board out Yogwell when I board that in. So, we'll see if I make that mistake today. Um, Kataki, uh, just because... Sometimes energy flux, like three mana is a lot more than two mana in vintage. You know, two mana is pretty easy to come by. Three mana sometimes is not. Um, it's generally pretty easy to come by, but sometimes it isn't. Um, so I just got a Kataki. And then, you know, there have been times where I go, you know, turn turn one Kataki or turn two Kataki and then, uh, you know, turn two or turn, you know, following turn energy flux. And then it's like, okay, everything costs three. It's not, not happening. So, um, so it helps. Um, you know, they're, they're against, like, Vault Key decks, against uh, Workshop decks, um, you know, and then they're even, you know, a lot of decks that just run a lot of artifacts, like that Belcher deck. Um, they they really can't beat Energy Flux in play. Uh, sometimes they can. Sometimes they can if they have just the right stuff, like they have their Academy in play in a Candelabra or something, but that's pretty rare. Um, you've either, <laughs> I've either already lost by then or, or you know, they're kind of out of stuff. And then Containment Priest. Now, this card is super cool uh, from Commander 2000. 15 i guess um it's got flash and whenever a creature would enter the battlefield if it wasn't cast and it's not a token exile it so um shuts down oath and shuts down uh some decks are just tinker decks that just try to tinker out a uh, you know blight steel and this completely stops that like 100 percent deadness tracks um which is super cool and it's got flash which i like um because you know there are times where i want to keep you know keep a you know a um fluster storm up or you know uh do something at the end of my turn but i don't have you know uh or you know i'm concerned you know my, my opponent might have some kind of removal or pyroclasm or whatever and i just wait till the end of the turn play it um and then i can attack with it so even if it's not that you know key moment right before you know with oath on the stack and then we got two graph diggers cage because dredge is good um <laughs> and i think having six cards against uh uh, dredge. Oh, this works against Dredge too. Containment Priest. So having uh, four, eight, ten cards against Dredge and five cards against Stacks. Um, you know, I, I I don't know. And 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 but the thing is, Containment Priest also works against Oath. And Oath is kind of one of those decks that's not as popular as it should be. I think it's one definitely one of the better decks in Vintage. Um, but for some reason, everybody's hung up on this Monastery Mentor. Anyway, that's why I wanted to play this deck just to show you guys Monastery Mentor. So, I was playing a little bit standard earlier. I played against a sweet, um, oh, guy, I played against this sweet, I need a deck. Uh, I played against this super sweet, like, dragon control deck. Like, it was cool, you know, uh, it was, it was good, but it, it couldn't beat, uh, you know, Giant Genesis Hydra for nine or something. And then, um, I ended up monstering my Polychronos. Um, hmm. Is this hand good enough? It's got a lot of broken stuff, but it does not have... Um, it has no permanent mana and no card draw, which is kind of a problem. Um, I think I'm going to throw this back because it doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of... Yeah, hey, it's got a lot of restricted cards. It's got one, two, three, four restricted cards. A Force of Will and another blue card. Uh, but it's not, the problem is we got one land, and that is it happens to be the planes. And our Lotus, we have to sacrifice to play anything. So we can't play Force with it. Um, you know, if we Force something, we have to pitch Time Walk or Mystic Remora. If we play Mystic Remora on turn one, we can only pay for the upkeep for one turn uh, and hope we draw a land. So, and there's only, uh, I think there's only 15 land in this deck, plus like four or five more, uh, five more sources, because there's three on color boxes, uh, a mana crypt and a black lotus so we are gonna throw it back oh goodness and we've been punished my friends punished i tell you okay um i guess we're mulliganing again um because there's really no way around this one i mean yeah um that could be okay but i'm not all right i guess we're keeping this so this is what we got people um, we're going to second main phase because I clicked accidentally. That was not a strategic move by my by on my part. But hey, you never know. Our opponent might think we have a uh, uh, what do you call it? 
Mandarin or something. That we're going to play with our Tundra and then Ponder. <laughs> uh, we're going to play Ponder just because... I, th I was thinking maybe we could play Brainstorm. But oh, wow. Wow, man. This is sweet. So let's see. Um, hmm. I'm thinking... God, we, I want all those. They're all good. So I think what we'll do here is... No. Um, let's go Lotus Cavern Thought Seized. That way if we get Thought Seized... No -hoo -hoo. If we get Thought Seized next turn, what we'll be able to do is uh, he'll probably, hopefully, take our Thought Seized because he doesn't want to get Thought Seized. And then we'll draw our Cavern and go uh, Stoneforge and then bada bing, bada boom, we're in business. Or maybe we'll brainstorm. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I have noticed a, a trend lately on... Uh, yeah, this seems like it's some kind of Delver thing. But it almost seems like there are some decks lately online. And, um, you know, because for a while... I, I mean, I guess before Vintage was really like kind of a format where everybody was like, I turn one or two, everybody dies. Um, but it seems like kind of lately uh, the decks have slowed down a little bit and gotten a lot more powerful, like in the later... Um, you know, in the later turns. So we're going to name Core. And then we're going to play our dude. Bam. And um, hopefully our opponent's playing some kind of Delver deck. Because we have a GTA. <laughs> hopefully, right? But with our luck, it's going to go some crap storm or something. But, you know, some weird, uh, what do they call it? Um, it's not a bad deck. It's just whatever um you know some red blue green uh burning wish storm or something i don't know anyway um i also want to say hey guys sorry for not making any videos last week i, I got sick and i've been sick and i i don't know if you guys can still tell but i'm quite sick um but uh and i've been real busy at work so I'm really sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to try to make more consistent videos. I'll try and do at least a couple a week. He's going to bolt our dude. Okay, fine. Fine, man. Bolt our dude. I don't care about you either. But. Oh, oh yeah, and I also wanted to tell you guys that, uh, you know, I got a new microphone a while ago. Um, this isn't, isn't my first video with it, but it's super sweet. Um, but it is my first video with it using a mount, so it's not just sitting on the desk. So. Hopefully you'll hear a lot less noise, like, related to me typing and uh, stuff like that, so. Alright, I guess we're going to brainstorm. And hopefully you don't get brainstorm locked, which is sucky. Um, well, I like a lot of this stuff. Um, we have no way to shuffle, which makes me sad. Um, and we're a long way away from casting Jace. So let's go Jace... And swords, and then we're gonna we're gonna probe our opponent, and then we're gonna take a picture, and <laughs> oh man, dig through time, double force of will power blast, uh, young pyromancer. Okay, all right, man. Um, yeah, man, play. Wow, <laughs> play. Okay. That's why we got GTA, right? Um, wow. Yeah, he's going to dig through time. That sucks. Unfortunately, we were on like a mold of five. So, uh, you, you know, sometimes with these vintage hands, you can be like, you know, mold of five. And it's like, it's all good. You just like Ancestral Recall or something on turn one. Or, you know, Treasure Cruise on turn two. And something crazy happens. And that's always good. But sometimes you get stuff like this where they have dig through time, double force of will, light, double lightning bolt because they bolted our Stoneforge Mystic a while ago, Pyroblast and Young Pyromancer. I mean, it's insane. So we're not going to draw land. We're going to draw our Jace, right? Okay. Um, I think what we will do is... We're going to Swords this guy. I want to wait till his upkeep so he can use his mana, but if he's got to pitch something to Force, he's got to pitch something to Force. So, okay, cool. Sweet. So, he, he's waiting to counter our Jitae, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine, too. Whatever. 
Whatever, jerk. Austin oh, DZ2. Killing my land. Yeah. Great. Great, right? Great, guys. This is wonderful. So, anyway, sometimes that's how this deck goes. Uh, sometimes we actually draw cards that are good. So, um, as you know, a lot of people always say about Vintage, one of the things that makes it such a cool format is that a lot of the time, in order to win, what the trick is, it's not... It's not about, you know, the most powerful cards. What it's about is powerful cards and cards that do other things. <laughs> the other things are extremely important. So, okay, yeah, dig through time again. Yeah, do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this is like becoming unwinnable because we have no mana. If we had mana, it would be, you know, potentially maybe winnable, but this is ridiculous. So, I'm just going to play it out, though. I don't know if you guys want to see... You know, if you guys don't like to see this stuff in the future, just let me know. But And unfortunately, I can't just, like, F6 because um, I got to discard two lightning bolts. Okay. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, whatever. Go on ahead. But that's the thing is we can't uh, F6 because we can't let him know we don't have a counter spell. See, um, he is, uh, right now he is 14, 15 cards ahead of us. So, um, just to give you guys an idea, 15 cards. That is 25% of his deck. Um, and you got to figure we've only drawn 14. So he is more than 150% ahead of us on cards. Um, so, our chances to win this game... If we do the math, are zero. So, uh, it's not a non-zero number. I mean, yeah, it's certainly not a non-zero number. Uh, even if we, like, let's let's just do some stuff and see what happens here. Let's go, um, oh wait, we want to do, he's going to counter our thing probably, our time walk, because he's got a bazillion cards in hand. Yeah, see? So, there's really no point in continuing just because the game's over. He's got six cards in hand, a uh, whole bunch of mana. We have no mana, and that was the problem. So we did take a mold of five, uh, which sucks. Uh, one thing that's not in this deck, um, that should be in this deck, is a uh, like one or two copies of Illness in the Ranks. Um the only thing is, um, maybe not this deck, but I think I think it's a new, it's a sideboard card because I I know some people uh, they play whatever it is. Uh, that one, it's a black man, one mana enchantment, one black that uh, all white creatures get minus one minus one. Um, I think we could run with this hand, um, and we will. But it's basically a. Uh, um, you know, t kills all the prowess tokens, uh, prowess guys, and the, uh, you know, white weenie and everything. But I was thinking, guy, why not have illness in the ranks? It does, it kills all the tokens. So yeah, you do have a 2-2 two, 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 two Monastery Mentor um, with prowess, which can be a little bit dangerous. But, you know, I mean, it's only slightly more dangerous than a 1-1 one, one prowess. And, but you get no tokens from Pyromancer, no tokens from uh, Monastery Mentor. Um, no tokens. Uh, you know, from most of the stuff. So, anyway, just a thought I had. I don't know if that's better or worse. But we're going to go Mystic Remora here, because this looks like pretty good. It's a turn one play. It does stuff, um, and our opponent's trying to get ahead by playing a lot of spells. So hopefully he'll misstep it. We'll misstep it back. Uh, if he forces it, well, then we just two for one him. Okay. Yeah, no, man. No. No. Not today. Unless he's got another counter. If he wants to spend a force now, like be my guest yeah you good job good play buddy three for two yourself which um you know i know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal but um yeah he might play some cantrips or whatever but it doesn't matter so but hey we're up one card on him just remember that i mean he went first and look we got all the same stuff now oh great 
But, of course, he draws all the restricted cards, and, and we, we don't. Because, you know, we don't have luck like that guy, apparently. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get an underground C. We're going to throw out our GT. And I guess next turn during our upkeep, we'll vamp. Um, I don't know what for. What would we vamp for? Huh. Probably Ancestral Recall. See, he's just got like a full hand. That sucks. Oh, well. We forgot to vamp, but hey, we got our Ancestral Recall anyway. All right, let's um, let's just cycle Time Walk. So, see, he doesn't have a bajillion cards adva advantage over us this time. So, I am perfectly all right with um, this. So, let's see. What can we do? Can we go Mana Crypt? Oh, crap. Hold it, man. Um... I should have thought that out before we skipped our upkeep. What I should have done is vamp for Black Lotus. Black Lotus, pop it, Yogwill, Black Lotus again. Um, but we didn't have Mana Crypt then either. Um, so we still only would have had like a couple of mana. So I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, why don't we... Yeah, I don't know if our opponents got... Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go play Mana Crypt, then we're going to play Yogwill. And if he counters it, he counters it. And then we're going to go Flooded Strand. Uh, pop it. For, uh, I don't think it really matters. Underground C. And we're going to go Mystic Remora. Bam. And uh, you can misstep it. We'll misstep it back out of our graveyard. I think that's what he's thinking about. Maybe he wants to force it. If he wants to force it, use two cards. Kill our one. That was free anyway because we got a Yog Will. Uh, all right. Um, now, there is some potential that he didn't know we would do that. Um, but, hey, I don't want to speculate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our end step and ancestral ourselves because he probably doesn't have another mental misstep. Uh, if he did, I'd be kind of surprised. See, now we're in a sweet, sweet spot. Because um, our opponent can play no non-creature spells without us drawing a boatload of cards. So uh, we'll play that. Yeah, we're good. Cool, dude. We'll pay your upkeep. See, sometimes Mr. Grimora is sweet when it comes out a few turns late like that. Sometimes less sweet. So I always pick heads um, just because um, statistically they're equal, right? In, in theory. So, all right, let's go. Um, I'm just thinking we're going to. We're going to probe first. Nah, you know what? Let's not probe. Yeah, let's probe. We're probing. We're probing with life. It's a bad idea to not probe with life. Um, all right. Let's just take ourselves a little screenshot of this. So he's got some gushes and crap. Um, and a Trigon Predator. Yeah, sure, man. You're going to have Trigon Predator. That's... That's not exactly, you know, what I would call scary. Okay, and then we draw Consecrated Sphinx. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New plan, my friends. Aww. We didn't get a player Consecrated Sphinx. That was a bummer. Uh, but that was, see, that's the thing, is, like, sometimes in Vintage, you just get these very, very, very unbalanced games, which is, you know, whatever, but um, it's a lot more fun when it's um, 
I, I personally prefer like more grindy games because I, th I think they're more fun. But hey, what do I know, right? Okay, Mock Sapphire. Uh-huh, pre-ordering, you can play that. I will not fight you on such a thing. Yeah. Oh, maybe he doesn't run any Delvers. It's just a Pyromancer deck, but Delver's so good. You should run Delver. I'm not an expert on such things, but Delver, it is not bad. Um, all right, let's see. So last game he had a bunch of Pyromancers and crap in his hand. Um, let's Cabal Therapy in for a Pyromancer. Um, that seems like a good idea. We got a whole bunch of Cabal Therapies. <laughs> we can play it four times uh, after we get our Mentor out. Uh, young Pyromancer. Bam. Let's see. Oh, and we hit! Only one, which... Uh, we only hit one, which isn't as many as I'd like to hit. I would have liked to hit, you know, three to four. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, don't be ridiculous. I think it's, I don't, why is he running Ancient Grudge for our GT, our super dangerous GT? <laughs> I think it's funny that we haven't attacked with that thing one time and our opponent like gave up to it once. That's what, that's one of the awesomer things about magic that I just think is freaking sweet. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's very funny. Um. I guess, uh, I guess we're going to dig through time this time. I don't think so. Well, you can tap out. Oh, wait, you can't because there's three. Uh. Love it when a plan comes together, my friends. And we're going to name, I guess, Gush. What did I say? Dig. I'm doing dig. Yeah, he's getting to the point where he can play that kind of crap. Yes! Oh, rewarded. Rewarded, my friends. So. Um. <laughs> that was sweet. That 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 right there, that made up for only hitting one. As, as if it, it needed to be made up for the one py young pyromancer we hit earlier. We will pass the turn back with his Ancient Grudge and Gush in hand. So, and if he draws another land, he won't be playing Gush. Okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. Oh, you killed my Mox, poor me. That's fine, bro. That's fine, it's just in your graveyard now. Are you really gut? Oh, that's, that, not a play I agree with. Because now you have no lands in play. Well, maybe he drew the Time Walker. No, he drew the land. He had to have drawn the land. So, yeah, I don't agree with that play. I, I don't think that was the best play. I mean, he totally lucked into the time walk. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Um, oh, we could have killed his gush, too, or forced his gush. But we did not because I was not paying as close attention as I should have been. Uh, as is the reason for the majority of my losses in the game. Um... But I am trying to keep it, uh, you know, keep the game moving here instead of thinking about stuff for ever, because that's always the worst. Thinking about stuff forever is just never, never the best policy. <laughs> oh, yay! Land number two, go us! Oh, go team ferocious llama! Come on! See, these are those games that it's kind of like, well, what's what's gonna happen? You know? Oh, he played that gush right. I'm going to cross that off. So now he has two unknown... What? Huh? So we can't Cabal Therapy him anymore? Are we good with that? I'm going to say we are because we got a Treasure Crew stand. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Um, 
Sure. If that's your turn, be my guest, buddy. Come on. All right, this is getting silly. So he's only got two cards in hand. We don't know what they are. Huh. Um. Now I hate to burst the old bubble here, amigo, but that's not happening. Yeah, no, I said no. What part of no did you fail to understand, amigo? Uh, some people, they just don't get the message, eh? I'm not Canadian, but... I say A sometimes, I don't know why. I, I like the idea of it, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, he's got one... Oh, come on, man. This is silly. This isn't even fair. Uh, we've got Tundra... Then we'll go Treasure Cruise. Uh, let's move the lands. Just in case we ever get rid of the cage. But we don't have any way to get rid of it, so... It does not really matter that much. Um, wow, that's weird. We do no land. I mean, I guess. We only got, like, 20 sources in the deck, but whatever. So, we'll let our opponent... Let's see. Six, seven, eight... Well, well, I wonder what the probability is of us drawing a land. We just threw three cards, and there's 42, 20 Lamana sources, and there's 1, 2, 3 gone, 17, 15, got a third of the deck. I would say the odds of us drawing a mana source are pretty high, so I'm going to go for it. Going for it. Oh, please, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I guess. Um, well, I probably should have waited. I know you guys are screaming at your computer right now or your phone or whatever you're watching this on. What are you doing? Okay, let's see. What do I do? Um, did he already play his Ancestral Recall? I think he did. Or no. No, he did not. Okay. So... Oh, I don't want to discard my Sphinx. That's so good. Oh, guys, see, this is so hard. I'm going to discard Cabal Therapy because you only got one card in hand. That's what I'm doing. That way I have a misstep and then uh, a second misstep for Force of Will Fodder. Yeah, sure, man. Play, uh, what is it, Treasure Cruise? That's fine. Yeah, Force of Will, amigo. It's a good card. You should try it out. All right, let's see. Now, can we vamp for anything right now to turn the game from an acceptable proposition to a winning one? Um, we already drew all of our good drawing stuff. Huh. Mm, I'm trying to think. We can't get any artifacts because that's, that's probably not as clever as we think. Um, yeah, let's, uh, God, I guess we're going to vamp for, I guess we're vamping for Black Lotus, uh, unless there's anything better, is there anything better? Not a lot better, um, yeah, because our crap's just going to get ancient grudged, okay, all right. And then we're just going to go uh, cast and crack it for white and mentor. Bada bing, bada boom. We got to a creature. So we got a misstep to protect it from, you know, a lot of his one mana removal. And from brainstorm. So it's like he doesn't have a whole bunch uh, happening right now. Um, so 
I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's my neighbor's dog barks all the time. And it's like, dude, control your pet. Uh, but it's because of my other neighbor over the fence. We have uh, low walls. And uh, these kids always play uh, play basketball in the backyard. And sometimes when the ball bounces off the, the roof of the garage, it's very, very noisy because it's like a big echo chamber in there. So then the dog goes nuts. And it's like, oh. um, hmm. What do I recommend we do about this? Let's swords our monk. And that way our dude lives and we got a new monk. Like it never happened, right? Bam. Um, I don't know what universe that, uh, you know, well, I, I don't want, I don't want to get too arrogant because dude, I've played games like where I was playing stacks and I had them on like full lock, right? And I was like, it was like this where I was just beating them down. And, um, we're going to name Sphinx. And I had my opponent on like full lock and uh, I was like, oh yeah, game's over, game's over. <laughs> and then I ended up losing. It was on video. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> so I, I try not to, you know, get presumptuous about the, what's going on precisely. Cause it looks really bad. So I wonder what that last card in his hand is. I hope it's like. Something terrible. We don't know what it is because he played all the cards we knew about. But what you got? Got to dig through time. I hope we got a red elemental blast to back it up. He might, and if he does, he's in the game. But I really wanted to play my consecrated sphinx because sphinxes are sweet. No matter what anybody tells you, sweet. Alright, well, looks like that last card is nothing. He's probably just holding it, hoping we can ball therapy him, but I don't think he knows, but we only run three. I mean, I'm certain he doesn't know, but we only run three. And uh, um, they're, all in the, they're, they're all in the graveyard already. You're removed from the game. Alright, we're going to throw out our Mystic Remora. Should have done it before we attack, but uh, it would not have uh, sped up the clock. He would have been at one instead of at four, which I suppose is relevant to some degree. But I, I'm not, you know, terribly concerned. So anyway, it looks like whatever you, if you play something this turn, we're drawing cards. So, all right, well, there you go. Um, we won. Cool deal. Um, the one thing about Vintage that you got to remember, though, is it, it's sometimes disheartening because, like, some days you just have bad luck, bad card luck, you know. Um, and, and it's, you know, not that much fun. Um, you know, like that, that one game we mulled the five and got no lands and we lost. Um but then, you know, the other two games we did pretty good. And actually, I, I kind of prefer, like, the a uh, uh, little more grindy games. I really like that. I think that's a lot more fun because um, it's kind of like anything can happen. Uh, you know, you don't think it will. You hope it doesn't, but it could. You know, it's super fun. Um, but anyway, this is the deck. You know, just a few Monastery Mentors. Tra uh, you know, a lot of restricted stuff. Um, then, you know, all the cantrips and mental missteps and uh, discard. And then our, our tutors. Our two tutors are Ultra Broken Yogwill. Um, and then, you know, Notion Thief, which is, you know, um, if I had to pick one, it'd be Consecrated Sphinx to be in play, uh, cause drawing two to their one is way better than drawing one to their zero. Um, um, because even when they draw during their draw step, uh, cause they can, they can actually avoid Notion Thief and yeah, you know, they can get down two cards, but if they're just way far ahead on board, um, and they brainstorm or something and we can catch it with the Notion Thief, they still, you know, have a fighting chance. Sometimes, a lot of times, you know, if you can get a notion thief to resolve, um, you know, in response to like a brainstorm or a Jace activation, um, it's kind of just a win more thing. But it's a cool card. Um, and then our our ultra threatening Umazawa's GT that got zero counters during this match, absolutely zero. Uh, yet our opponent was deathly afraid of it, which I suppose they should be uh, if we did get counters on it. But uh, it w certainly wasn't a priority for us, um, just because you know. Well, our mentor tokens are better than this pyromancer tokens. So, um, anyway, but uh, this is the deck. Um, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, hope to see you guys again soon.